Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen, Catherine's Plates. Today it's all about dessert, and do I have a recipe for you? Oh yes, it's on a piece of paper. <laughs> this recipe came from my husband who found it online somewhere, but he wants a chocolate cobbler. And it's so simple, there's three easy steps. You just pull out some items from your pantry. We're gonna see if we can make a chocolate cobbler. It sounds really delicious. Okay, so this is supposed to be an easy version of lava cakes. So it says it's a fudgy pudding cake mixture dessert. And don't forget your ice cream. Okay, you ready? So we're going to go ahead and preheat your oven at 350 degrees. Now what you need to put everything in is a one and a half to a two quart dish here. And you want it kind of deep, okay? And we're just going to lightly spray it. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and start with step one. Okay, we have a medium bowl here. We're gonna go ahead and add one cup of all-purpose flour. Two-thirds cup of granulated white sugar. Two teaspoons baking powder. half a teaspoon of salt and we're going to put in one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now this is unsweetened. Okay, we're just going to take a whisk and we're going to blend this all together really well, breaking up the sugar and the flour incorporating everything together. Okay, we're gonna add in half a cup of milk. Two tablespoons of melted butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. All right, we're just gonna mix this together with a wooden spoon. All right, down below in my description box, I have a playlist of all of my desserts. Favorites. Go check them out after you see this one here. And then tell me which one is your favorite. Oh, it smells good. Okay, let's go ahead and bring our baking dish back over here that we had sprayed, and then we're gonna put this into it. Now it's gonna be a thick batter. We're just going to smooth it down on the bottom down here evenly. Now with this cake, there's going to be some magic happening. So stay tuned for that. All right, that was step one. Very easy. We're going to go ahead now and bring just another medium bowl over here and start step two. We're going to add a quarter cup of white granulated sugar, okay we're going to add half a cup of brown sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, 
one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. We're just going to mix this together with a whisk until it's well combined. Make sure all the little brown sugar clumps are broken up. I mean, that sounds delicious already. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's bring back over our dish that has the cake batter in it. Now what you want to do is add the mixture that we just did with the cocoa powder sugar and the brown sugar and just evenly disperse it all over the cake batter here. Now the trick to this is do not stir this in. Leave it just the way it is. I know, magic happening. Some serious stuff. I know my husband's excited, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move this over to the side. Step three. Now, I've boiled some water here, or you can just get it out of your tap. Make sure it's boiling hot, though. You need one cup. over for you okay we're not stirring this one either okay so you just want to pour your hot water all over the mixture here that's it do not stir I'm gonna put a big banner right up here <laughs> we are going to place this in our oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 30 minutes now you want just a firm cake on the top, okay? It's gonna be a little bit firm on the top. All right, I'm gonna be back and let's check out this magic. Okay, look at that. Okay, so on the top of the cake, it should be firm. Now you don't want it so firm, okay, that you lose the pudding. The pudding actually sank to the bottom and the cake grew on the top right here. And look at that, doesn't that look amazing? Now what else do we need with this? Ice cream! Actually there's a step for you guys. You have to eat it with some ice cream. Well, we got some bluebell right here, vanilla ice cream. So let's go ahead and let me show you what this looks like as we are cutting it out of there. Actually, as we are scooping, scooping it hey, out yeah. of there and adding it with some ice cream. Okay, do you see how cakey it is on the top and kind of a pudding on the bottom of it? When you pull it out of the oven, let it sit for about 15 minutes before you dive in and that way that pudding gets really nice and thick. And then you got a nice little chocolate sauce to go over your cake here. Let's add some scoops of ice cream and I got a taste tester for you. Why not? <laughs> Let's get a spoon. And let's try that. Let's see what he thinks of the recipe he brought me. Cakey? Very cakey. Put put in the put in the put in the and freaking awesome. Y'all, when you make this, make sure you are ready for dessert because I'm telling you, right out of the oven, let it just, you know, mm -hmm. set for about 15 minutes. It's still nice and warm and a little hot on the inside. Oh, and that pudding thickens up. And then you put some ice cream on there or maybe some cream. Oh my gosh. Winner. Oh my God, yes. Winner. Big time winner. Winner. That is a winner in the uh, biggest lava cake you'll ever make. What time do the kids get home? <laughs> yeah, they're on their way home right now. Oh, we better hurry. <laughs> We're going to have to hide it somewhere, hide it. right? Hide it. 
Okay, give us a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below what you think of chocolate cobbler. Make sure y'all share this. You know your friends are gonna wanna make a chocolate cobbler. Probably wanna know what it is. Okay guys, we will see you on the next episode. Bye.